sunset with the sun. And uh, here we go. Uh, we, uh, it's a wonderful thing to live a day with the Lord, it really is. Uh, I know the Lord's in charge and He's in control and what a, what a great what a great experience to have a day with the Lord. This might be the last day I got, so I want to make the very best of it. And uh, I'm sitting here with my friends, Steve and Mike and Kalen. I just plain call him Waylon. <laughs> I make associations, and uh, you know that. Uh, yeah, I've never heard him sing yet, so I don't know if I'm. If I, <laughs> but I do know one thing: there was a day at the church where this guy was invited by Steve. They worked together, and he came to church. What happened to you that day? I got saved. Can you look over there and tell them that? I got saved and took the Lord and one of the greatest days. You changed your life? Forever. All right. Man, that's sweet. That's a real, and you got baptized? Yeah. I forget, was that the same day? No, two weeks after. Two weeks after? That is absolutely great. It really is. And uh, praise God. Uh, well, here we are. We started the day out talking about expectations, okay? And let's finish the day talking about expectations. Okay. All right? Yeah. My roof's got a leak <clears throat> in it, a hole in it, and the water's coming right into the house. Uh, do you think I ought to soon get it fixed or not? Well, that's probably a good idea, but, you know, I, I, I learned a good lesson on that. 20 years ago, and then that's when that leak started in your no, house. Twenty, no. you've been waiting that's 20 years to make. I, I knew you were slow. <laughs> <laughs> put a bucket under. <laughs> I put a bucket under. About 20 years ago, I made my first trip to Honduras. Uh, it was a few years after Hurricane Mitch had come in, and thousands of lives were lost, and thousands of homes destroyed. Yeah. And we went there to build um, small homes for people. Yeah. And I, after being there, I realized that the uh, the people in that part of the world receive up to 140 inches of rain a year, and we receive, I don't know, 30 or 40 around here, but almost every place had leaks. The water was just unbelievable, and I came back to America, and the facility where I worked had a minor roof leak, and the expectation was... That was going to be fixed right now. Yeah. And I just came back from two weeks in a third world country, and I thought, well, we're where everybody, keep, where everybody's roof leaks. Everybody's <laughs> roof leaks, and we're keeping 99.9 percent out. I think we're doing good. <laughs> Our view was slightly different, and the expectation was, you've got to make it right now. And mine was, we've got most of it out. Yeah. yeah. That different view and yeah. expectations can really cause disappointment. You know, isn't it true in our life? We got to learn to be a little taller with each other and, and show grace with each other, because we're all individuals, whether spiritually or politically or economically or our personal habits and that type of thing. We ought to learn to show grace and mercy with each other. You know, if them people would have come to you and said, "Hey, hey, Mike, we, we got a leak here and it doesn't look good for you as a company. Would you please come over here and and fix it?" Uh, you'd have been over backwards to get over there. Absolutely. But, be, but because they got harsh and rude and coarse with you, guess what? That slows the process right down. It just and, and it's so true in marriage, and it's so true in church life and our personal life. It, you know, uh, we we need to we need to be careful that there aren't a lot of disappointments that follow our responses. Isn't that true? That's true. That's true. And, you know, I think we have to really be careful in our expectations. Uh, this morning on, on Sunrise, we talked about the expectation of the installation date of this roof. And by it being delayed, all the fruits that came from what happened in May, the time that uh, I was allowed to be off and we repurposed uh, that time. But some really great things came out. And, and we're still pretty early in the week yet for our work here. Um, Steve and Kalen came on Monday, and we put a lot of laugh on the roof. Uh, really had a great day. And Tuesday, 
they needed to go do another job that was important. So they went to take care of that. And I didn't piece all this together. I didn't figure it out till the end of the day. But it was the last day that Jason was going to be home from school. Because Wednesday was his first day of school. And here he comes now. Hi, buddy. Hi. How are you? Good. So good. Good to Jason see you. and I met you for breakfast. Yeah. And we had a wonderful time at breakfast. We did. We came back to your place, and Jason picked out chickens. He's in the chicken business now, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. You, you got some uh, Sarama chickens. That's the smallest breed of chicken in the world. And your rooster's uh, like a barred rock Sarama. Looks like that. Did you name these chickens yet? Yeah, the rooster's Bob and... Let's speak over there. The rooster's Bob and the hens are... Penny and Penny. Penny and Penny. <laughs> yes. Did you check for eggs this morning? Yes. Is there any in there yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to quit having egg sandwiches and, you know, you want you want to fool your dad? Yes. Get an egg out of the refrigerator sometime and slip it out there and put it in the box and say, oh, come here, dad, look here. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be giving him ideas. Oh, <laughs> man, we got to have fun, man. <laughs> hey, man. Um, expectations is what we're talking about. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because you're being raised in a Christian environment and you come to church all the time. I expect you to be a leader and not a follower. I expect you to make choices and decisions that will be good for your life, not right now, but also down the road. Because in another 10, 20 years, you're going to be thinking about your own family. And the choices and decisions you make right now, really important. So always take the high road. And always take the Jesus road. Okay? Okay. All right? Yeah. Hey, let's shake on it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, by midday, Jason and I made the trip up to the uh, chicken pen and picked up the three chickens and brought them home and he put them in the coop. And, uh, you know, my expectation was that he would grow and learn to take care of these if he got a little proper training and uh, on Monday my expectation was that we were going to work here on this roof and we're going to work every day and these guys had other work to do and I got to spend almost the entire day with Jason the day before he went to school. There you go. There it goes back to whether it's your plan or or whether it's God ordained. Amen. Amen. You Amen. were you were expecting these guys to be on that roof. Let's get this job done. Yep. And God said, you know, you need to spend a day with Jason. And it, it was just it was a remarkable day. Yeah. Absolutely remarkable. Yeah. And these guys went and did another job that was important that they had to take right. care of. And then we come back yesterday and we worked again. Right. And it, it's <clears throat> every day I'm reminded. Um, my expectations can really cause dissension and pain and hurt if I'm not careful. That's right. And it prompted me last evening, um, I was sitting out under the willow tree trying to rest a little because these guys really worked me hard. I heard you put a hurting on him, did you? (laughs) Maybe a little. (laughs) (laughs) And the Lord laid on my heart, um, you know, our, our expectations of other people, and we talked about briefly this morning, that we withdraw and we get angry but Jesus expectation of his disciples was love one another love one another as I have loved you amen challenge the crowd that are listening this morning about that that part right there challenge brothers and sisters you're going to have disappointments and hurts in your life some of your very best friends and relatives will hurt and maybe not intend but you'll be disappointed But remember, Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. And if you know Jesus, you know how he loves us. He gave his life for us on Calvary. Amen. 
And ladies and gentlemen, as I say every night when we're signing off with sunset and the sun, sleep close to the throne of God. Because any minute, God may want to talk to you. Good night. God bless.